Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays tutorial. Now this one I'm sitting in the Boeing 727-100. This is one of the aircraft that has a uh, frosted over front and side windscreen here. So as you can see you can't actually see out. Besides the fact that we haven't got the gauges in, we are working on those. Uh, should be able to get things working eventually. Now what I want to do is actually use the Model Converter X to make these windows clear. I will have a link in the description. Thank you, I don't need that update just yet. Okay, import. You want to be able to find the file. This is the last one I was working on. I'm going to show you how to do external windows as well for aircraft that have mirrored windows. So this particular one is a TOM file. 727 100. So we'll open it up and we're looking for we've either got cargo or packs. I think we're actually in a packs because we're not in a cargo. Now we're looking for an interior model. Now you do need FSX to do this because you will need the um, SDK. So use the right mouse to move around, left mouse to move in. I can zoom in volleyball and this gives me an inside uh, view of the windscreen so what I want to do is look at my materials editor and that's actually opened up on another window so let me just bring that over to show you what happens so what you want to do is go highlight selected uh, things click on the first one it shows you that these are the gauges come down to the next one next one there we go we've got the windows so this is actually the windows here and if you come down and see frame buffer blend if you change the value of this one to one change the value of that one to one you now have a clear window that you can see through what we want to do is export that particular file see how it's changed names we want to click on the original name of the file and press save yes we want to override it will actually upload it back onto the file. We won't see it update here on uh, this particular um, view unless we go in and reload the model via, uh, what's it called? The uh, developer's mode. Okay, so it's finished writing the file. I'm actually gonna close that and I will restart. Okay, loading back into the Boeing 727-100, we'll go into the interior model and you see that you have a clear windscreen. Uh, obviously you bring the dials in, in with the legacy importer, but the window allows you now to uh, see out. If you have an aircraft that has an outside window that you can't see in, this one we can. But let me show you another one that uh, is blacked out. You will have seen some of my videos, the uh, windows actually look quite uh, difficult to see in, like the Optica uh, that I have on there. So this one's blacked out. So having a look at this, if this video is not already out, it will be very soon for the showcase for the uh, Mirage. Now what we want to do is we can actually see out fine from inside. It's got a little bit of a reflection in there, but that's actually probably about right. But from the outside, it is completely black. Why it rolls out, I don't know. So what we want to do is we want to open the Model Converter X again. Now this particular uh, file has multiple models. Now some of yours might. So I've gone to the Mirage C Model 1. So that's where I've actually found it. And it's got, let's come back up one now. Model 1, 5, 9, 10, and 65. So this one has the interior and the others are obviously linked to it. So if we want to change these, go to Model 1, click on the model, we'll generate a model. Here we want to go to Materials Editor once that's done. There it is there. Materials Editor. Highlight and we'll, we'll start at the top and we will make our way down until we find the window. There we go. Now what we want to do is destination blend on this one. We only need to change this to one. 
as you see it's clearer now already. Export, same name, save, yes. You will have to go through those other multiple files as well in order to get it, uh, get all of them correct. But that's how you actually change the windows from outside. So if I look at uh, what I have done for the other two here, the Fusi and the B model, if we look at the B model here, we now have a clear window screen. And when it loads into game, you do see the glass but in the hangar, uh, which also gave me a bit of a fright when I first saw it. It looks as if it doesn't exist. But there is a bit of glass there somewhere. But definitely when you get outside. All right, so that's how you can change your uh, frosted out windows. Uh, if you have other aircraft that have it on the outside, it shows you the same way. So if we find the, where's it for O for Optica? No, it must be under another name. As you can see, I do have a lot of aircraft. It's the same deal as any of these aircraft. If you're having trouble with that, you can go in and clear out uh, the glass. It's on the second, this one here. Same with any of the others you change to. They will have the clear glass if you redo the models. Hope that helps. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, other than that, have a great day. Cheers.